everyone, welcome to my channel. It's so nice to see you here and today I'm going to show you how I did this makeup look. It might seem complicated but it was actually super easy to do and it was pretty quick as well. Before we start the video I'd like to share something with you. I know I'm not the biggest channel on YouTube, I don't have that many subscribers yet, but I was thinking about designing some t-shirts. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I was an illustrator, professionally, <laughs> professional illustrator, for a few years, graphic designer as well, and I thought, why not create some designs for myself to wear that I like, but then I thought, why not just create a store where everyone could buy the designs if they want to, so basically I created a store. <laughs> the link will be down in the description, it's very much on its early stages, but if you guys want to support me and my channel, that would mean the world to me if you guys want to wear my designs. If you do get a t-shirt or any item, just send me a photo of you wearing it and I'll be so happy to feature you on one of my videos and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so now back to the theme of this video, I really wanted to do a trad makeup today. I really love the 80s. I really love the contrast between how simple trad goth makeup was, but also how complicated it seems. It seems very detailed, but it's pretty much just eyeliner and a steady hand. And so I did this spiderweb look that I think looks pretty cool. And again, it was really simple to do. So if you want to learn how I did it, just stay with me for a little longer. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, we're starting off with a clean face and I already put my red contacts on just because my eyes water a lot when I try to put contact lenses so it would ruin my makeup, I always put them on first. Let's start with a primer. As you guys know, I really like the Honey Do Me Up Primer by NYX, so I'm going to use it again. For a super high coverage flawless look, I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation in Alabaster. And I'm gonna use it with a real Technique sponge because I still haven't gotten a brush. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Nabla Close Up Concealer in Porcelain. This has a strong smell of coconut. I believe it's coconut. Um, I'm not a big fan of very strong scent products. I was about to drop my my sponge. Um, the good thing is this one doesn't last that long. It really just smells very strongly when you're applying it, but then the smell fades away. But still, if you're sensitive to scents, you should really consider it before buying it. Okay, because we're going for a dramatic, trad, goth, very graphic black and white with maybe just a hint of color, I'm gonna use the Suede lipstick from NYX in Stone Fox, which is a great lipstick, as my contour to make it real dramatic. A little bit goes a long way because as you can see it's pretty darn pigmented. So let's blend this out and see if we need more. Seems good to me. Let's do the rest of the face with the same lipstick. Hello? <laughs> There's gonna be one video that my cat doesn't interrupt me, but it's not gonna be this one. Alright, let's work with that. I'm gonna set the contour with powder and I'm gonna use the Catrice Starlight Express. I 
starting to do a really geometric, really sharp look and I'm starting to draw the lines with a brush and my LS Splash Evil Doer Black Lipstick and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and some spider webs maybe and probably sharpen it out with a liquid liner but first it's just easier for me to do the basic shapes of stuff with a brush so let's start out with some really dramatic high eyebrows similar and then we're gonna go over with some liquid eyeliner all right this side is also done and I already started lining up with the uh, liquid eyeliner I thought I was gonna use a pen eyeliner because it was a little bit more precise but I'm just gonna give this one a try this is the glam liner aqua looks from NYX and it's black but it has like some silver glitter it's very subtle but you can still see some kind of shimmer I'm not sure if it's very obvious on camera and I kind of like it especially because it's like a, such a monochromatic look so I'm gonna try it and see if it looks good <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing Hello. this is just precision work and trying to get your hairs out of the way I'm also going to do a regular cat eyeliner. Oof. Okay, so before going to the next eye, I'm going to blend a few eyeshadows here between the webs. I'm going to use the same shadow that I use for my contour, the Catrice one. And then I think I'm gonna play with some color, maybe uh, blue, I'm not sure yet, but I want to add at least one color to this look so it's not as black and white. So I need to think of something that looks good with my red lenses. But right now I'm gonna go with the Starlight Espresso. So... I'm going to extend the eyeliner on the inner corner here. Alright, okay, so it's not as sharp as I wish it would be, but still I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. So let's add some color now and I think I'm just going to go with blue. So I'm going to use um, the Masquerade palette by Juvia's because I'm so in love with this palette. So I've also added lashes and I've added a couple of dots at the ends of the spider webs. I'm gonna do my lips now and I'm gonna use the Kiko Milano uh, Instant Color Matte Liquid Lip. This one is 13, number 13. I don't think it has a name, it's just a number. Yeah, 
this was actually pretty quick to make because there's no blending, there's no eyeshadows except like for two and it just takes a steady hand and that's it. Pretty easy to do. It took me like a half an hour maybe. I thought I would be here for a lot longer. I really hope you liked this tutorial and I'm so glad you stayed until the end. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!